G'day, Rick here. I thought I'd pop in and give you a demo of this fantastic little plugin that I've just recently found. It's called the Obsidian Sidebar Hover. And so I've just set up a little bit of a demo here for you. And on my screen, you can see that I've got my sidebars up, which is my uh, folders and recent files. Uh, I've got a note in the middle here, uh, my smart connections and my calendar. So what this plugin does is that it will hide your sidebars and give you the opportunity to get a lot more real estate, which can be really useful at times if you've only got one screen or if you are using a laptop, uh, which is even smaller in terms of real estate. So I can I have my editor set to show readable line length. Let me do that again. Readable line length. Uh, so what we're going to do is have a look at this plugin and then see what you can do with it as far as playing around with a few things. If we go down and we pull up our um, community plugins, we just go to browse and we just search for open sidebar on hover, uh, which is here, and you can see that I've already got it installed. Updated only five months ago, uh, and but not too many installations, so 1298. So let's hope it, uh, with a few more people put it in, the more people that put it in, the more popular it becomes, and the more the developer is inclined to keep it up to date. So I've already got it installed, as I say, so we're not going to do that again. So we'll go down to the open sidebar on Hover Settings, Community Plugin. Open sidebar on hover and enable it. So I haven't got it enabled at the moment. And then we will have a look at our options, which there aren't too many of them. So we just leave the left sidebar hover on, the right sidebar hover on, but you don't have to leave either of those on if you don't want to, but not much point having the plug-in if you leave them both off. Uh, and collapsible delays. Well, I haven't really played around with those at all, and I've made sure that they are both put on. Okay, so now you can see that both my sidebars have disappeared since I've enabled it. To get them coming back, all I have to do is to come over here and it pops back on. Then when I go back to my note, it disappears again. Back here, disappears. For this side, uh, it's not as the same for some reason. You've got to open the sidebar on the right-hand side, but as soon as you go down here, it does collapse. So you're going to have to open the right-hand sidebar then you don't have to worry about it when it collapses. Now, if you are on a laptop and you want more real estate, then obviously if we go down to our settings and the first thing that we'll do is to go to our editor and we'll turn off readable line length. And what that does, as you can see, is that it just expands the whole note right across the screen. If we pull our sidebar up again, it, it confines the note to the available real estate. So that's fine. That's good stuff. Now, if you have got another program running and you want to do a side-by-side -side or something or other and, and you're limited for space, what you can do is you can go to Obsidian here and you can... Well, I'll have to collapse it so I can show you. I can't get it into the recording screen. You can pull this in here, like so, and then you can see everything in the note is collapsible and you could run something on the other side here. So that's the beauty of it in terms of using it if you've only got the single screen. So I'll go back, I'll turn my readable line length on, and so then I've got the, the note back where it is and I can keep working and obviously I wouldn't normally have my screen this large when I'm working anyway. I would collapse it a little bit and probably have about 10 other apps running at the same time. So I hope that's of help to you. I will leave the link to the plugin in the comments below and I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.